Hello friends and welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are making our final house soap. We are doing Ravenclaw and I'm using Water Lily Fresh Mint as the fragrance today. So we will start the same as always, get our oils and additives and butters mixed up, add in our lye water and split this off into our colors. So my batch oils, it looks a little bit darker than normal. I started using extra virgin olive oil instead of plastic olive oil, which is a little darker in color, but it doesn't affect the color of the soap at all. So we have four different colors, same with all of the other house soaps. first color is Siren Song and this is about a pound of soap in each of these containers so I will do one teaspoon. Our second color will be Siren Song mixed with titanium dioxide. The third accent color will be gray and then into the majority of our batch we are doing white so this will be a nice drop swirl soap let's go ahead and get our colors mixed and then we will do our white So I have some titanium dioxide that I've previously dispersed in some water. I'm just gonna shake it up and pour some in this bucket as well as our lighter blue color. I'm gonna clean off my stick blender because we are done with that. We'll mix in the color by hand because I did not look up the notes for this, so I'm not quite sure how it will behave, but it should be fine because I try not to buy fragrances in larger size bottles unless they behave in soap. Start with our main white here. Which the white does look like a creamy color now, but because of that olive oil, it will um, it will lighten up as it saponifies. So the Ravenclaw house is the air element and they are known for their intelligence and wit and if I had to place myself in a house it would be Ravenclaw. Alright let's grab our mold and get our white in. So we're going to put all of the white in now and scrape out our bucket. So our fragrance oil has all been added. We're just going to get these mixed up by hand and make sure all the mica is mixed together and off the sides of the container. And then I'm going to wait for them to set up a little bit and do a nice drop swirl. So we will start with our gray. We'll start by going kind of up high. 
trying to do about two passes in each of the loaves. So my little, like this would be a loaf, this is a loaf, and this is. Then we'll do our light blue. So these colors aren't exact as to what the house soaps are, but I know a lot of people do Harry Potter soaps and I just wanted mine to be a little bit different. So I don't mind that the colors aren't exact. I think they're still pretty and they still go together. pour a little closer to the mold. Oh, maybe. The brown got thick fast, the gray. Let's do the blue. You know what? This mold is already pretty full, I think, for the other two colors, so I don't mess up my drop swirl. I'm just going to spoon some of it on top. And then because their mold is full, we don't need too much. And then the rest of it, I will put in like little molds. So let's just get a little bit on the top that we can kind of swirl together. And we'll use this large silicone, it's not large, but it's a decent sized silicone spoon that came from Dollar Tree. back in a few days and we'll get her cut and stamped. Welcome back friends. So we have our final Harry Potter house soap to cut. And this is the Ravenclaw. And there's the first bar. So these house soaps have been a lot of fun to make. Um, and stamping, if you have never stamped before, it did take me a while to get the hang of it. You do have to let the soap, or I had to let the soap set for um, probably about a week or week and a half after I cut them before I was able to stamp them. But I did finally get it. So we do have a nice drop swirl going. So if these are something you're interested in, they will be available with all of the other Harry and po Harry Potter inspired products on May the 2nd. And I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.